that for us, Axel? A long time ago, a mouse was looking for a good place to sleep. He climbed up and until what he thought was a small hill or one. Stuff there, he had really climbed up onto a sleepy night. Okay, so we'll stop there. Where was the mouse? What was the mouse doing, Michael? He was trying to find a place to sleep. And then when he was looking for a place to sleep, he climbed up, it says, a warm hill of soft grass. But was it really grass? No. Okay, so go ahead, um, Axel. The lion woke up and grabbed the mouse with a few paws and a few paws. Then, then he opened his mouth to eat him. The mouse said, forgive me. He didn't mean to wake you up. If you let me go, I'll do something to help you, help you someday. And then I'll keep reading. The lion laughed at the idea that the little mouse could ever help him. What could a tiny thing like you ever do for me, said the lion, but he let the mouse go. Did the lion eat the mouse? No. Was the lion hungry? Mm -hmm. The story says that the lion let him go because he wasn't hungry at that time, right? Mm -hmm. The very next day, two hunters caught the lion. They tied the lion to a tree while they went to get a wagon. The lion couldn't move. Just then the little mouse appeared. Don't worry, my friend, he said. I'll help you. The mouse gnawed at the ropes that held the lion. Soon the lion broke free. He said to the mouse, you were right, little one. Already you have helped me and have saved the king of the beasts. What's, what can we learn about this story, Michael? What do you think you can learn about the story? What happened at the beginning of the story? Who helped who? Um, the lion helped too? No. Was it the lion helping the mouse or was it the mouse helping the lion? In the beginning? Mm -hmm. The lion was helping the mouse. In the beginning, the lion helped the mouse. How did the lion help the mouse, Axel? He let free the mouse. He let him go free. And then what happened in the middle, Michael? So after, after the mouse came to the lion and the lion was going to eat him but decided not to eat him, what happened next? Do you remember? Let's read that line again. The very next day... Oh, he was not hungry. What well, says the very next day, two hunters caught the lion. Oh, they caught the lion. Yeah, so what happened? What do you think happened when they caught him? They, they wanted to eat him. Where, where does a, a lion go? Like if, if a hunter's out there hunting, where do you think they caught him in? In a trap. In a trap. And so they had tied him, the, the story says that they tied the lion to what? Re, go to paragraph four, the one that says paragraph four. Paragraph four. And it says that they had tied the lion to what, Michael? Okay. To a, look, read it right here. To E. A tree, to a tree. And then what happens at the end? Who comes along? The, the, mouse. the mouse comes along. And what does the mouse do? Um, How does he save him? He nod at the ropes. And when the, when the lion says to the mouse, you were right, little one, what does he mean by that? Sometimes you can get help by anyone. Does it necessarily mean that we can only help the people that are the same as us? Mm -hmm. no. no. Right? Can we help anybody? Yeah. Sometimes are we going to be stronger than other people? Mm -hmm. And sometimes are there going to be people that are stronger than us? Mm -hmm. So what? how can we apply this lesson to our life? Think of, some, think of something that that would happen in your life that you could apply this lesson to? Mm. You can sometimes you can trust other people. Sometimes you can trust other people. Good, Axel. For, what about you, uh, Michael? How does this apply to your life? Do you think that there's things that you can do that maybe someone else can't do and you can help them? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what can you think of? 
think of something that you can do that you think that someone else might not be able to do, but you can help. You know, you can help them. What are you? What are you good at? What do you think you can help other people do? What do you like to do? Um, you don't know. What are some of the things that you like to do? Yeah. Do you do you play video games? <coughs> no. <coughs> do you do? You are you good at video games? <coughs> no. <coughs> do you ride a bike? <coughs> you don't have a bike. I do. You do. Do you ride bikes? Uh, not anymore. Not anymore. So in life, we're sometimes we're going to be met with challenges where we can help other people and then they can return the favor whenever it's their turn to return the favor, right? Mm -hmm. So in the end, the, the lion tells them, the mouse, you were right, little one. And he tells them because if you go back to, if you go back to paragraph number two, go back to paragraph number two. And can you reread that paragraph for us, Axel? The lion woke up and grabbed the mouse with a few paws. Then he opened his mouth to eat him. The mouse said, forgive me, I didn't mean to wake you up. No, wake you. If you let me go, I'll do something to help you someday. So the mouse tells the lion something very important at the end of that sentence. What does he say? I'll help you someday. He says, I will help you someday. So when the when the lion tells him you were right little one what do you think that he was referring to that the mouse will help him someday that the mouse would be able to help him someday right mm -hmm. and was the mouse able to help him yeah. yes the mouse was able to help him so here in this in this sheet that you guys have that second sheet go i'm going to give you a few minutes to write what happened at the beginning of the story what happened in the middle of the story and then what happened at the end? Let's work, let's walk through it together, Michael. What happened at the beginning? What was the mouse doing? Bad. He was trying to look for a place to what? Okay, so write that. The mouse was trying to look for a place to sleep and he climbed on top of a hill or on top of a? Lion. On top of a lion. So go ahead and write that, Michael. At the beginning of the story, the, the mouse was looking for Food. What was the mouse looking for? A place, to sleep. a place to sleep. And he ended up climbing a hill or a... Did he climb a hill? No. 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 What did he climb? A lion. A lion. Okay. And then what did the lion... What did the mouse tell the lion? What did he ask him to do? Let him go. To please let him go. And what happened in the middle of the story, Michael? What happened to the lion? Uh, he got, he, uh, he uh huh. So put him here. Who who caught him? Did he did he just put himself in a tree? No, look. They put him in a tree. Next, but who? Next morning. Two, two hunters. hunters. Okay. Hunters. hunters are people. That's a good question. Do you know what hunters are, Axel? What are hunters? When they go and hunt some food. So hunters are people that go out and like they look for animals to kill them. And sometimes they eat those animals or sometimes they put them on their walls for prizes just to show that I've killed this animal. Um, have you ever seen like maybe bear heads or lion heads or elephant? No, no, elephant heads not. <laughs> but bear heads and lion heads on the walls of people? Those are real? Sometimes, sometimes they are real because sometimes hunters go out and they hunt those animals down. Um, mostly here in Texas, you're gonna see people hunting for like deer and um, what else do they hunt for? For pigs, right? They hunt for pigs. Um, so you're not gonna see a whole lot of like elephants. Where would you see hunting for elephants if, if, it, if somebody was hunting an elephant? Mm, probably. Where do you think, Michael, that somebody would hunt for an elephant or for a lion? In the forest. In the forest? Or in the jungle? In the jungle. Or possibly in the, like in a safari area? Safari area. 
right? Okay, so then what happens in the end? The, uh, the, the mouse was able to help the lion. And how did the mouse help the lion? By cutting the rope so that the lion could be set free, right? So when we're retelling a story, guys, when we read a story, good storytellers or good recounters of stories know the exact details or the key details or the important details of the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. When we retell a story, do we have to, Michael, when we retell a story, do we have to read exactly the story all over again? No. What do we have, what can we do? We can just take the key or the important details and retell them, right? Can you retell me the story of the mouse and the lion? Do you remember what happened at the beginning? Uh, he, he was trying to find a place to sleep. Who's he? The mouse was finding a place to sleep. And then what happened in the middle? And then what happened in the middle? And then the lion decided not to eat him. And then what happened to the lion? What happened in the middle? They caught him? And then who helped him? So what happened at the end? The mouse helped him. Good job. So then um, we're going to let Axel finish his and you too. You can finish writing mm -hmm. beginning, middle, and end. You want me to help you? Okay. So take your get your pencil. Okay. Okay. And here we go.